From Shempinyata, I'm Colleen Thomas. This is Everyday Magic for Ukraine. Today we visualize rebuilding homes and hearts. Welcome to The Circle. Welcome to Everyday Magic for Ukraine, where we honor Ukraine and also practice self-care to stay strong as allies. If you're new here, Welcome. I'm so glad you've joined us today. So if you've been here with us before, you know that this is a special circle because it exists beyond space and time, meaning that whenever you listen and wherever you're listening from, you are part of the circle. And the other thing you know is that we are usually invited and encouraged to bring an object to circle. Now, this might be something you can hold in your hands, or it might be something that you just imagine. Either way is completely fine. And the point of having an object is to give us something to focus our magic with. And the object today is a hand to hold. Now, this could be the hand of someone you're with, if they want to hold your hand too, or this could actually even just be your own hand. So see what feels right and see what works for you. We're going to touch on a subject today that might bring up some hard feelings. So I wanna tell you that first thing. Feel free to adapt this meditation in any way that helps you be more comfortable. And as always, if anything is triggering or just doesn't feel right for you today, please turn off the podcast and do something to re-regulate yourself, something fun, something easy, maybe drink a little water, take a little walk, do a little breathing, have a snack, and then go on with the rest of your day or your night and come. feel free to come back and join us for another meditation. So the tool, the object that I asked you to bring to circle today is a hand to hold. And you can join me if you like in holding your own hand. Nobody's gonna know what you're doing, it's okay. You can hold your own hand, you can arrange your hands in a way where you actually have one hand partially inside the other and see what that feels like. See if you can feel a bit of comfort, a bit of love from yourself to yourself. A bit of support. If this feels a little bit weird to you, maybe imagine that the hand holding yours is that of a friend or a loved one, a family member. Maybe pick somebody who really understands you and really gets your heart. And just play with feeling that person's care through that hand holding yours. Today we're going to visualize rebuilding homes and hearts. So let's just take a breath because that's a really big deal. It is a big deal when things have to be rebuilt. When something has happened, there is a disruption, there is a destruction, there is a breaking, a shattering. It's a big deal. If you have gone through or been touched by any of these horrific events, be very, very gentle. Be very gentle. I offer these reflections to you as someone who has not lived through an experience of my home being bombed. And I just want to honor with you and circle how many layers there must be in that story. There's the immediate aftermath of an event. And then there is everything that happens afterward, the going on, the dealing with what has to be dealt with, the rebuilding, which begins very quickly, 
because Ukraine is constantly rebuilding right now, as I was recently reminded by a Ukrainian friend. It's not later, it's now. It's all the time. And then there has to be room for the being, the heart, the spirit, the feelings, the emotions of the people who are involved. And I imagine that in this situation, there are there is a strong desire to just keep going, to be strong, one foot in front of the other. And I honor that. And at the same time, I really feel like there has to be room for healing at a deep level. What I'm advocating for today with you in circle and would like to ask you to join me in holding space for are all the layers of a human being that is touched by an event like that. Even all the layers of those of us who are not in Ukraine, those of us who are abroad, those of us who are watching events unfold, who are worried for friends and family. So I would love for you to hold on to that hand again and just imagine that this hand holding yours is someone who is with you throughout that process. And similarly, that this hand can be a hand holding the hand of someone in Ukraine who has just been through a horrific event. And I've definitely seen people showing up for each other in videos when I have watched videos of events in Ukraine. People are right there. People are amazingly brave and they are right there with each other. And I wish for everyone who has to go through something like this, which nobody should have to, that they have those people that are right there with them in the moment, absolutely, and that stay with them and are available to them over the long haul, who can hold their hand metaphorically or literally or back and forth to say you're not alone. So I invite you to join me in that sentiment, feeling that in your body, feeling that wish, feeling that desire to spread that abundance really to anybody who goes through this kind of thing, to have somebody with them, to not be alone. Maybe that's a person, maybe that's an animal, maybe that is a, a, a spirit, a god or a goddess, some kind of deity or spirit guide someone to be with them over the long haul. Let's just imagine that happening. Imagine as your hand is held and you are supported, that 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 support is available to anybody and everybody needing to rebuild a home and a heart today. Sending that magic, sending that intention And adding to that intention that those of us who are not in Ukraine or not in an immediate situation can show up and be a support. We might not be able to hold someone's hand. We might not be that close physically, but we can make a new friend. We can learn the Ukrainian language. That's a really supportive thing to do right now. Learn about Ukrainian culture donate to nonprofits. There are so many ways that we can show up. And to close today, I invite you to just take a breath with me and release this intention. Just release this intention, letting it go, letting it go out into the world so it can be manifested in whatever way is right. As the rebuilding of homes and hearts happens, may people be supported fully. May it be so. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. Please consider inviting a friend. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our new 10-part series for Ukrainian listeners on YouTube, now in Ukrainian. Yay! It's called 10 Minutes for Your Heart. More information at 10minutesforyourheart.com. 
Our opening and closing music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.